a gorgeous sunset. The weather, not as cold as the weekend, but uh, boy, when it comes to those fires and those winds that they've been dealing with, Craig, what can we expect tonight? Boy, well, the good news is the winds have died down some, especially compared to yesterday. Some of those gusts were 30, 40, uh, even up to 80 and 90 miles per hour uh, right through the foothills. Let me get you going real quick, and I'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about our beautiful weather here as well. But the Santa Ana winds are still there. They're not quite as strong, and they're coming in out of the northeast and offshore flow, which we know here. And the reason they're called Santa Ana winds is because a lot of them are coming right over the Santa Santa Ana Mountains. So tonight it's a weak offshore flow. The winds are 3 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts are under 25 miles per hour. And the humidity has gone up from single digits yesterday up to 20 to 60 percent tonight. Temperatures cooling off nicely tonight as well. It'll be a weak Santa Ana event through Thursday with those gusts under 35 miles per hour. And I'd say weak because we're talking Santa Ana winds. We're talking gusts 60 to 80, 90 miles per hour. A relative humidity will stay at 20 to 60 percent, and then a little bit of fog Friday night will help out through Saturday morning. However, the offshore winds will become strong again next week. So hopefully they'll be able to knock some, uh, do some damage on those fires and kind of knock those down as we go through the coming days before they get stronger again next week. Meantime, closer to home, we've got some 40s and 50s here tonight. Not as cold, and that's some good news for us. And these are some uh, sites. From the National Weather Service, we just showed you our school net temperature sites. 52 in Arlington, 51 in Shelton. And as we pause a moment with Craig, look at Gita. Gita's a cute little doggy, loves to explore the backyard. Look at that face. All right, so cloudy tomorrow, 9 a.m., 48 degrees, mostly cloudy by the afternoon, 57. Some of you will get a little bit of rain, but not everybody. I want to show this to you. You see this high pressure to the west of us? Look at that patch of moisture. The atmospheric river is in place, but it's going up to B.C., that's where most of the rain is going and, of course, mountain snow. A piece of one of those little waves coming through will come our direction this evening through tomorrow and give us a chance for a few spotty showers. Where? Well, you can see some close to Nia Bay. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. Maybe make it over to Snohomish County and places north of there through the morning commute. And then tomorrow afternoon, pretty cloudy for a good part of the day, a few sun breaks, and the chance for a few showers during the afternoon, especially within the convergent zone from Seattle to Everett. Then Friday, there's another wave coming through, and that will give everybody the chance for some rain about a quarter of an inch or so in some cases. This is through the Friday morning commute and then by the afternoon just a few scattered showers. That will be the end of it. High pressure rebuilds and we start to warm up just in time for the Halloween weekend. 40s for overnight lows tonight. Your highs tomorrow back up into the 50s and we're slightly warmer than average for this time of year. By the way, Eastern Washington or a good portion under an air stagnation advisory. There's just no mixing of the atmosphere. So a lot of the air is just trapped down at the ground. We've got an inversion there. Uh, we've got cloudy with the chance for showers over the passes tomorrow. What about the remainder of the week? Here's your seven day forecast. Whoa, as we look at Friday, some showers coming through and then the weekend looks great. Temperatures in some of the warmer spots. Greg enjoys closer to 60 by the time we get into Sunday. Plus you get that extra hour of sleep for setting the clocks back one hour. If you're not looking forward to the sun, maybe that's what you're looking forward <laughs> <Right>. to. <laughs>